welcome back to Haven's Handiworks. It is 2021 and we have started the new year and it has been about a month since I built this little hydroponic totem behind me and it is time for an update. Um, we're going to try out a new little format here. Uh, let me know if you like it. If you don't, tell me you hate it. It's all right. Try new things. Uh, I'm going to go through my journal here and kind of go over some things that I kind of, I honestly, I observed these things within the first two weeks and I haven't seen too much change. Some things have perked up a little bit. Um, there's still some melt going on for a couple of plants. Um, so let's see. Mm, okay. So I top off the reservoir, the bottom reservoir about once a day and it's about a gallon of water a day. Um, that's about what it uses. Um, it doesn't, unfortunately, in the winter, it's not raising the humidity as much as I would like it to. Um, the area around, like directly around the plants beneath the mist stay plenty humid. But the ambient air around us doesn't really hold a lot of humidity. Especially during the colder days. And I... I'm loathe to say colder months because I'm in Texas and we don't get a lot of really cold days. Most of our winter, we might get a low of 65 and there's days in December where we might hit 90 degrees. It's just kind of crazy um, and unpredictable. But on the cold days, it easily drops down into 30% humidity. Um, if I set up my aquarium, I might be able to keep it up higher in here. But that's basically just setting up another humidifier. So, um, so a taller totem would probably function better than a little three foot tall totem because the plants at the very top stay really, really wet all the time. The top uh, canister, because of the humidity and the mister stays constantly wet and that's great for ferns but it's not so great for like anthuriums and philodendrons or anything that really doesn't like being soggy all the time uh the humidifier the atomizer definitely puts out atomizes uh calcium deposits so uh which is why it stays clean because it atomizes the whole thing so um I do have to alternate between uh, distilled or reverse osmosis water and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and normal tap water. Um, just to kind of keep the calcium down and the, it helps dissolve. Running dis, uh, distilled alternately helps dissolve some of the buildup in there. It won't dissolve all of it, but some of it. Um, so because it deposits calcium on the broad leaf leaves that are kind of flat or kind of catching the mist, um, it's good to go through and wipe down your broad leaf plants with a little bit of vinegar water, like once a month, maybe twice a month, uh, and it'll keep them pretty clean. Um, Otherwise, you could have, like, you know, loss of uh, photosynthesis and the leaves can burn a little bit from the calcium just sitting on there. The easiest way to tell if the water is low in the chambers, because you don't want your pump to go dry, um, is to just kind of, like, touch the top pot, the bird, the reservoir for the mister, because if the water is not circulating, it gets hot and your canisters will run out of water below long before that top one will run out because as the water weaves down from the canisters back into the basin it continues to pump that water up so you like i said you do have a little leeway in in the original videos i said you had a little leeway between when uh the water at the bottom hit its minimum point 
and when the pump would go completely dry. Um, and it just kind of keep, maintains an equilibrium up in the top and it doesn't like go any higher. So the bottom canisters don't get any water, but that top one maintains water and the bottom basin continues to get water from the canisters. I also do not like the cocoa fiber top. I think I'm gonna go switch to a, um, I keep saying I'm gonna do it and I just, the last two weeks have been kind of, I've been burnt out, exhausted from the holiday season. So I haven't gotten around to it, but I do wanna replace the top with a sphagnum top just so I can like, I don't know, plant some ficus pumula or something up there, something to make it pretty. Or maybe I'll just plant more live moss on it. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I don't like the cocoa fiber top. And uh, so I added some little tiny clippings of ficus pumula onto, or oak leaf fig. Yeah, oak leaf creeping fig. I'm not sure if it's pumula or something else. But I added a few to the totem and I'll show you those as well. Right there. Um, and I didn't really, I'm going to show you a page in my artist or my uh, plant journal because I didn't really show you guys exactly how, um, how the canisters worked very well. I showed you how I built them and I kind of vaguely explained it, but let's start with, okay. So you see here, this is the canister and the water goes up this tube, right? And it hits the little bird up here and the bird overflows into a little tray that's right here. And the tray has holes in it, which drain down into this canister. And this tube right here is your overflow tube. So you have a max line the line and it goes down the overflow tube out the bottom spout into the next canister and it continues that from one to the next and so you have like you have a central tube or a pipe and in that pipe is your tube your feed tube and that feeds your water supply and then this would be the overflow tube and every canister has an overflow tube even the very bottom one so yeah um So, yeah, so that's my uh, hydroponic totem pole. Um, I guess, you know, uh, because it's the new year, I mean, I don't generally do resolutions. So I guess my resolution this year for 2021 is to kind of just keep pushing through the things that I really love to do, experimenting with um, plants and habitats and things like that. Um, what do I have planned for this year? I have, well, I want, I'm definitely going to reset up my aquarium. That's probably my next big project because it's just been sitting there. Uh, it was beautiful while it was up, but I encountered some problems on it and I took it down. So I'm going to start it over, try again, um, do it better this time, maybe a little more in detail and depth. And you know, there's things I want to fix from the last time I did it. Um, I'll show a little video of a little clip or a little photo of what it is, what it looked like, used to look like. And so you can come back for, uh, to see me do that. Um, I'd like to get into, uh, maybe get some lizards, pet lizards, um, and maybe build a habitat for maybe some morning geckos. Um, just kind of starting out. Um, and I would really, honestly, I'd love to build a green wall this uh, year. And maybe if I can manage it, renovate my old art studio and kind of transform that into a filming studio for these videos. So I'm not bouncing from corner to corner in my house, 
try and find the best spot to film. If you're wondering why I keep looking over there, it's because my cats are in the window. And trying to navigate the mess of houseplants. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, thanks for coming back for the final, or uh, for um, the update. Um, if you like my content, like, subscribe, follow, share it, you know, um, comment down below and interact. That really helps. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye. See you later, alligators.